Vivo X80 and Vivo X80 Pro were launched at an event in China on Monday. While the regular Vivo X80 carries an octa-core MediaTek Dimensity 9000 SoC, the Vivo X80 Pro comes in two distinct variants, one with the Dimensity 9000 chip, and the other one offering a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC. In addition to the flagship SoC, the phone also features a flagship-grade display. The big 6.78-inch screen uses a Samsung Mate E5 liters TPO2 mold, with QHD Plus resolution, and granular refresh rate adjustments, ranging between 1Hz and 120Hz. Vivo also claims that it's considerably more responsive and power-efficient compared to last year's X70 Pro Plus display. Interestingly, the X80 Pro also holds an ultrasonic fingerprint reader beneath the display with 38.7% larger recognition area. Up until now, only a handful of OE mids have been using ultrasonic fingerprints. Moving on to the camera department, the device has four of those on its back. This time around, the company used a custom 50 megapixel 1 1.3-inch Samsung made ISO cell GNV imager. The sensor is paired with stabilized optics and bright f1.57 aperture. The unit is also aided by laser AF and pixel shift technology. The 2x zoom shooter uses a 12 megapixel Sony IMX663 sensor. The 5x telephoto camera uses an 8 megapixel optically stabilized sensor with an f3.4 aperture, and on paper it sounds identical to what the X70 Pro had. Behind the f2.2 ultra wide lens is a Sony IMX598 48 megapixel sensor. All of the cameras benefit from the Zeiss lens coating, just like Vivo X70 series, and make use of the upgraded Vivo V1 Plus ISP chip for improved low light photography. The final camera is inside the punch hole at the front, it has a 32 megapixel sensor and an f2.5 lens. The phone draws power from the 4700 mAh battery that supports Vivo's brand new 80 watt wired fast charging, which is a significant upgrade over last year. The wireless 50 watt fast charging is still at hand, and the handset can charge other devices both wired and wirelessly. Other notable features of the phone include an advanced 27 layer VC cooling system, hi fi audio chip, NFC with wider range, stereo, and IP68 water and dust proof certification. And, of course, the phone launches with the latest Origin OS Ocean out of the box based on Android 12. The handset will be available in three colorways, black, orange and green with the latter seemingly more of a turquoise color. Depending on the color, you get AG glass, vegan leather or ceramic back, respectively. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 option will be offered with either 8 or 256 gigs, 12 or 256 gigs and 12 or 512 gigs memory, while the Dimensity 9000 variant will come equipped only with the last two configurations. Despite being the most affordable option in the series, the X80 still packs a powerful MediaTek Dimensity 9000 SoC, but there's no Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 option. We also have a less impressive 6.78-inch Samsung E5 mold, which isn't LTPO2. Still, they advertise 1500 nits peak brightness, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage and 120Hz refresh rate, make up for a solid panel. The camera setup isn't as advanced either. The main shooter uses a 50 megapixel Sony IMX866 sensor, an f1.75 lens, with OIS. The 2x zoom camera used for portraits is borrowed from the X80 Pro, but uses a narrower f1.98 aperture, and there's no 5x zoom shooter here. The ultra-wide camera, on the other hand, is downgraded to a Sony IMX663 12 megapixel sensor with f2.0 aperture. The selfie camera is shared with the X80 Pro. The X80 draws from a slightly smaller 4500 mAh battery and misses on the wireless charging, but retains the fast 80 watt fast wired charging dot. The available memory options are 8 or 128 gigs, 8 or 256 gigs, 12 or 256 gigs, and 12 or 512 gigs, which costs $565. $610, $670 and $745, respectively. It's important to note that the regular X80 skips the IP68 certification and uses a standard optical under display fingerprint reader. Just like the X80 Pro, the standard X80 also comes with Origin OS Ocean based on Android 12. But since Vivo is keeping the Origin OS for the Chinese market, we don't know what to expect for the global release. Likely Funtich OS will be on board again. Pre-orders for both handsets are open and actual shipments begin on April 29th. Thank you guys for watching this video, this is very important to me. If you'd like more videos like this, leave a comment below. See you soon.